MSNBC just admitted Donald Trump's huge win and they're not happy about it. Analysts from all corners of the world are predicting that the Trump train is coming with support from the former president reaching heights that we haven't seen in a long time. Now, this is despite the fact that multiple prosecutors have painted him in the worst light. The president in the White House himself has said that Trump is a convicted felon. But despite these setbacks, President Biden is still trailing Donald Trump in the polls. Which now brings me to the case that's being dealt with by the Supreme Court. You guys may remember it, but they're talking about Donald Trump's presidential immunity during his term as president. One that may have given him the freedom of speech to question the results of a presidential election. Special counsel Jack Smith has done his best to keep his case against Donald Trump going forward. Many believe that he's doing this to cause as much damage to the former president right before November. Now this is very similar to what Attorney General Letitia James wants. The same thing that District Attorney Fannie Willis wants. They want these cases to go as fast as possible. They want to find Trump guilty and they want to interfere with the 2024 presidential elections. The problem is that not everybody's on the same page here. Analysts are now blaming the Supreme Court for Donald Trump's win. And believe it or not, MSNBC was the one that reported it. Now, before I share this video with you guys, all I ask is that you take a second, hit the like button for the video and subscribe to the channel. I totally appreciate you guys. Take a listen. Am I being too simplistic? What is what would the debate be happening inside the Supreme Court about presidential immunity? And these delays are conscious, are they not? They're certainly conscious, Meek, on behalf of at least some of the justices, particularly given their decision to schedule briefing in the way that they did. Before the break, John mm -hmm. and I were talking about this schedule, and I was saying the delay itself is the win. Even if we see a decision, let's say tomorrow or Friday, that is a full victory for Jack Smith and his team, the damage will have largely been done. It's not clear whether the case can be tried and the time remaining before the election, or whether Judge Tanya Chetkin has the will to impose a trial on that schedule. You'll hear people complain bitterly, for example, that the Department of Justice this policy forbids taking certain steps certain number of days before election whether 60 to 90 days read very clearly yeah. that policy is about overt investigative steps like subpoenas or search warrants it's not about a trial but nonetheless even if the supreme court were to hand jack smith a full victory it's not clear that trial can be accomplished or if there is the will to make it happen so they're saying here that the delay in and of itself is the win and that the justices within the Supreme Court are to blame. Now, while they're correct in their thinking that the delay is a win for Trump, it's wrong to blame the Supreme Court for the delays. Now, let's go ahead and start with Attorney General Merrick Garland, shall we? Now, he's been questioned about his appointment of Jack Smith to this case. He says that Smith was the best person to place as special counsel due to him being impartial and independent. Although Merrick Garland, he waited until late 2022 to appoint Smith, which has a lot of analysts raising their eyebrows because this was around the same time that Trump declared for the 2024 presidential election. The uh, attorney general Merrick Garland made this announcement today saying that he did so now because he found it important for the public interest to have this special investigation, if you will, act independently considering the political optics. Though officials with the DOJ and the White House have said time and time again that the two sides operate uh, separately. Meanwhile, Team Trump already firing back, calling this a political stunt. U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland announced he's turning over the investigations into former President Donald Trump to a special counsel. Appointing a special counsel at this time is the right thing to do. The extraordinary circumstances presented here demand it. Jack Smith, who has been with the DOJ since 1994, will now oversee key aspects of a probe involving the January 6th insurrection and efforts to undo the 2020 presidential election, as well as the investigation into the former president's handling of classified documents at Mar-a-Lago. As special counsel, he will exercise independent prosecutorial judgment to decide whether charges should be brought. In a statement, Smith said he intends to conduct the assigned investigations independently, going on to say the pace of the investigations will not pause or flag under his watch. Attorney General Garland said that former President Trump's announcement this week that he would make another run at the White House and President Biden saying that he too will likely seek re-election prompted him to make a decision now to appoint a special counsel. Such an, uh, an appointment underscores the department's commitment to both independence and accountability 
in particularly sensitive matters. Do any of you guys believe that this was just a coincidence? Because there's a lot of speculation regarding that decision, guys. And if you remember what was said just a second ago in that report from MSNBC, they're actually saying that this is a conscious effort by the Supreme Court to delay legal proceedings against Trump. Lawrence Tribe, a constitutional law professor emeritus at Harvard University, he blasted them and said that they're dragging their feet. Now, again, this is feeding into the narrative that Donald Trump has to be charged before the November election. Now, it's also their way of kind of spinning this story that the Supreme Court is working to get Trump back in office. Now, what's also pretty clear is that they're trying to paint Trump as a sort of a dictator here. Now, the argument is that Donald Trump as president had the right to criticize the elections. This is pretty much connected to the First Amendment that deals with the freedom of speech. This isn't about him being able to do whatever he wants while president and get away with it. But Tribe argues that there are so many delays to the immunity appeal. He says that the Supreme Court Court should have taken the case back in December last year when Jack Smith asked to be heard. Instead, the Supreme Court only decided to take Donald Trump's immunity appeal in late February of this year. But like I said a minute ago, guys, they're just trying to pin all the blame on the Supreme Court when they weren't the ones that were responsible for the delays. Political science professor at the College of Charleston, Claire Wofford, says that there's a lot of people you could hold responsible for how long this process is taking. Even the FBI was at fault here because they didn't take up the investigations into January 6th for over a year. She added that if you want something to be reasonable and rational and thoughtful and ordered, it doesn't happen quickly because you have to realize that this is a very big deal. This will affect all of the people who have held and will hold the position as commander in chief here in our country. But as we all know, these critics are angry because they don't want Trump in the White House. They've repeated time and time again that the goal is to get ahead of the presidential elections. They haven't even tried to hide that fact. It's also the reason as to why that analyst admitted on national TV that Smith is done. He and Merrick Garland have already lost. Even if they're given the win, there's not much to celebrate. The goal was to get Trump before the elections, and that's clearly not happening. And it's apparent that even those people from MSNBC, they know that Trump is probably winning it all. Because you can see and hear how disappointed they are about what's happening with these cases. So the reality is that the Supreme Court isn't delaying the case because they want to. They're taking their time because they have to, which has a lot of legal analysts saying that Democrats are, they're looking at everyone who isn't critical to Trump to be an enemy. Or at the very least, they're seeing these individuals to be working against their end goal. And this brings me to the point that some experts have said about Donald Trump and how he's being targeted politically. Is it worth it to throw away all the rules and our very own constitution just to get one person? The idea is that there are those who are willing to bend and even break the rules of law just as long as they can get what they want. This kind of reminds me of a previous video that you guys need to check out. It's about Judge Christina Peterson, who is now facing charges of battery out in Atlanta. There are so many things happening out in Fulton County right now. It's ridiculous. I'll leave a link for that video about the judge being charged for battery in Atlanta in the description down below this video. Check it out right now. Uh, but before I go, I just want to thank you all so much for hitting the like button. Thank you for subscribing and sharing this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.